to our nation's capital ended with fanfare tonight. A huge crowd turning out to greet returning veterans who traveled to D.C. for the first honor flight in more than two and a half years. Valley News Team's Mike Morgan was along. He joins us live in studio. Welcome back, Mike. Thank you, Justin and Stacy, and let me begin by thanking the people who patiently waited and then really welcomed home more than 80 veterans to Hector tonight. Their enthusiasm, which included music, applause, signs, and flag waving, that was the best way to end an incredible tour of the major memorials in just three days. I witnessed tonight tears in family members' eyes as their loved one came down the escalator or was wheeled around through the crowd. Some of these veterans had to wait a long time to go on this trip because of the pandemic. So finally making the journey and having such a great time was rewarding for them and a reward for many who showed up to support them. It's, it's mind blowing because I wasn't there when my grandfather came home or anything. So, yep, it's, it's an honor to serve my veterans. And to see the, the people come off the plane and the tears in their eyes and the response that they get it's and unbelievable. They, and they deserve it. And they Tonight's festivities was one of several really touching moments on this trip. Earlier this afternoon, as our veterans made their way to the World War II Memorial, a group of students from San Francisco stopped and proceeded to applaud and thank everyone as they passed by. It really was an incredible thing to witness, and it was not lost on our veterans. Thanks also needs to go out to the people behind the honor flight of North Dakota and Minnesota. There are some 40 core individuals, all volunteers, I might add, that make this possible. I can assure you that they see to it that all T's are crossed, all I's are dotted when it comes to taking care of these veterans from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. I can honestly report, mission accomplished. Justin, Stacy. Thanks, Mike. We should also mention today another group of veterans arrived in Washington from Arizona. That means since the honor flight started, 250,000 mm -hmm. veterans across the country have now been able to visit our nation's capital. Such a cool thing. Well, later here on.